Hey guys, I want to welcome you back for another product review video. So if you've been watching some of our videos, you've seen that our kitchen is under some pretty serious renovations right now. And uh, we're tracking a lot of the sawdust from the work going on in the kitchen through the rest of the house. And I don't want to have to drag the big vacuum cleaner out every time just to clean up the sawdust that either the people or the cats are dragging across the floors to the other rooms. I wanted something quick and easy and lightweight. So I did some research on YouTube videos on other people doing a um, review of this product. So I decided this was the one I wanted to get. I wanted to stick fact and I got the Bissell Multi-Reach Cordless which I thought would be um, good to get around to do quick cleanups and then I could use my Rumba for you know the regular maintenance and I bought myself another um, Rubbermaid a spray mop because I um, I have one that seems to have gone upstairs and not come back down and um, I think well I think I'll have one for each floor and then I'll make it a lot easier once I get the va floor vacuumed and I can get it mopped up just to make sure that um, we're not tracking around that dirt in every part of the house so with no further ado I'm gonna show you what I got in my box so this was the one I got today this was the the spray mop and it's the Mermaid Reveal and uh, I had one of these for a long time I've actually had several of these so I need to make some too and for some reason this part here always seems to go and uh, the last one I had you just it won't spray but I had one of these and it lasted so I thought you know what I'll get another one the handle was a little bit bent the box wasn't quite big enough for it when it was um because it, it wasn't in like this it was in with the uh, with the mop head like that so it was a little bit too long for the mop and the handle was kind of just sticking out a bit the paper was sort of wrapped around the edge of it there so that was what came today but what I got yesterday and you can see how my floors are picking up all the bits of sawdust and this is why I'm so excited to get this out today and then of course our our contractor and my husband are walking around with the boots coming in from outside and um, you know, they're not clean and stuff, they're, they're wearing steel toe boots. So, not just vacuuming, but needing to mop the floors too. That's uh, something I have to do today. So this is what I picked up. And I just opened the lid yesterday and I thought, you know what, I should do a video. But it was so loud in here with the drills going that I didn't. <laughs> so, what I liked about this was that it was cordless. And I've seen other, um, especially those Clean With Me videos, a lot of people are using these. And uh, this one even has lights, which I thought that's even cooler considering there's no electricity in a little bit of part of my house today because <laughs> that's one of the things that's getting uh, changed around is the lights in the kitchen so uh, yeah so this was uh, this as far as I got yesterday so I'm going to set up the camera and uh, and take this out okay so here's what's in the box so obviously that's the extension part and here's our fuzzy brush all wrapped up and this is part of the filtering system that's kind of cool and of course we have the instruction manual because now I'm going to put this whole thing together and another little clippy thing here how about I just take everything out of the bag so it's easier to see and then you and I can put it together that sounds like a plan right Okay, so here's what I have. This, is, of course, is that's the main unit, and that's the floor head. And there's one for um, furniture or maybe even stairs. And then we have, of course, the little dusty brush. So this has that green sponge in it. So this must be a replacement filter, I'd say. Since there's already one inside there, I'm gonna make that assumption. And, of course, the main wand here. If anyone's ever renovated any rooms, they've probably taken stuff out. I've put a bunch of kitchen items on the table here to uh, sell or donate, except not my Cricut and not my red kettle, but all the cups and extra dishware uh, just kind of sitting there waiting for somebody to pick up. Or we'll end up donating, donating it somewhere um, just to get rid of the extra stuff we don't need. It also came with these two brackets and a little, I guess, I don't know why you would need two, but it looks like just the handle will sit on the bracket here. You can mount it on the 
wall or the inside of a cupboard or something like that. And of course the instruction manual. The power adapter is over here too. This has like a, a lint roller on it. And this is great for furniture. We had one like that for our Mila vacuum. And it's great with getting cat hair off the chairs. <laughs> this one here isn't showing in the manual there. I was just reading the directions and yes, I was correct. There is a crevice tool right on board right there. Hidden at the back of the handle. Here. Okay, so I'm about to attach the wand to the floor piece and see how there's two connectors there. You can see there's two little glowy things in there. Those have to line up. And it says it can't be attached to the base. When you do this, the power has to be off. Okay, to attach these two pieces, there are two little white arrows that need to align. And it just goes click. Okay, to take it off, you just slip this little green ring down towards the power head and then just pull out like that. And then line them up and click and Bob's your uncle. So I was just playing around with the head and I saw there, there was a, a lock unlock on the side and it means you can take your whole roller out and clean it off, right? When you get a lot of hair and junk on there and you gotta cut it out. And then you just slide it back in. And on the end here you get the lock and unlock. You just slide it down and now it's locked. So to attach the body to the wand, you also would line up those white arrows and the same thing, the slipping of the green ring to release it. So I pulled the ring back, pulled this piece off, so that's, the, that's what comes on it. You can just do your cobwebs and whatever with that. And then you pull on the green ring down and then it releases. And now I have the attachment to attach to my handle. So I'm lining up my two white notches and click there. Now, if it has any battery in it, we'll be able to check it out. And if not, I have to charge it. Ooh. You feel the air blowing back here. I think some of what's on my floor is actually pink. Lights are very handy. Okay, I got it charged again. Let's see how this thing can do. Lawrence spilled some cereal over here. The floor is uh, all full of sawdust because this is very close to the kitchen. Plus cereal, if you can see all that. When you suck up a bag, it stops. Wee. <laughs> so when you pick it up, it tilts slightly because it's balanced kind of funny. My son spilled some cornflakes on the chair here. In order to put this tool on, you have to put that piece on that was on when I got it. And I'm going to see about how easy it is to empty the dirt canister and, um, and, and do that now. 
Okay, it looks like I just pull it forward. Oh yeah, it just pops right out all by itself. And then you're left with the motor here. And that's the battery component there. Looks a lot like power tools we have that are battery powered. And of course this is where the filter is. Um, it's just filter up top there. So <clears throat> there's a hinge here and there's a little lip here. So I'm just guessing you lift that up. I see all the dirt's right there. So I'm gonna be right over top of my garbage can. Or actually, what I'll do, I'll bring the garbage can closer to the camera. How's that sound? Don't wanna make too big a mess. Oh yeah, got the little gummy wrapper that was there. There we go. And you can see, <laughs> it's been used. Got some dust and hair there. And um, I guess if you want to wash that out, but I don't see what point that would be since we're gonna do this all over again. Uh, probably in a couple hours when the contractor leaves. So um, yeah, it's been fun trying to keep up with the, uh, the dirt being tracked around the house as sawdust and everything's getting cut and um, just a lot of sawdust around and got to do this for next month or so. So I really wanted to have something I could easily clean with. You can see in the background, that's the side of my, how are we at here? That's the side of my microwave right there with the um, pot holders on the side and that, that whole cart right there, that whole cart, that's my kitchen right now, my temporary kitchen. Everything I would need to have is there right now, whatever pots and pans I need, the microwaves on top, fruit basket, my mixer is there, but I probably won't be baking anything, although I do have access to our old oven, because that hasn't been removed yet, but we have no stove top. I have no kitchen sink. Um, I have my I, uh, rice maker and, and uh, slow cooker, because I was gonna sell those or give them away or whatever, so they're out. Um, my Instant Pots I kind of put away. I have a microwave and I have an oven. And tonight we have Kentucky Fried Chicken for dinner. <laughs> And some Tim Hortons, because actually it's my daughter's birthday today. So this is uh, a little birthday, uh, second birthday celebration, because we already did this a couple of weeks ago. But yeah, this is whatever. It's actually her birthday today. So um, I think this vacuum's been quite a success. It was easy to use. It wasn't too heavy. I found the operation of it, like my mom gave me a, a Dyson, and I found you drag that thing around the floor. It hurt my shoulder at the end of trying to get that thing around the house. And it seems like, you know, every, I don't know, two feet, I got to pull the thing further and, uh, or closer to me to continue vacuuming. So I just found that was a bit of a hassle. Um, and I have my Mila vacuum, which is a little bit lighter, but still, you know, you're dragging this thing around with you and then you got to plug the cord in, in different rooms you go into. And for just a quick, easy cleanup, when somebody's tracking some dirt in and you just want to clean up behind them without having to drag out a vacuum, this is a great option. And of course, it's, it's handheld too. You could just do a piece of furniture, or if you want to do the stairs without having the big um, stick there, you could do that. Or you're just a quick mess, you just have something to easily clean up. And my spray mop, now that I get the floor clean from all the dust, I'm going to go over with the spray mop. I put my Mrs. Myers with some water in the, in the sprayer, and that's all I'll be doing next.